Hey, Michael Levingham here, Natural Current, and we're gonna show our Sunray Hybrid AC-DC flow controlled pumping system. We have our AC pump here, and we have our DC pump over there. We also have our Sunray controller, which controls the AC pump by the flow meter. So this flow meter is gonna be set at 80 gallons a minute. We're gonna turn it on, it's gonna achieve that. But when we turn our DC pump on, it's gonna offset the need for the AC pump. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm gonna hit the power. AC pumps turn on. Now it's gonna go ahead and hit that set point of 80 gallons a minute. So this is like if you had a commercial pool or you had a community fountain or a fish pond that you gotta keep that gallons per minute set point the same all day long. Okay, so now we got our 80 gallons a minute. Let's see where we at, we're at 80 gallons a minute. So the AC pump has done what it needs to do. It's at 80 gallons a minute, our set point. So now our commercial pool, our pond, our fountain is at the right height because that's the gallons per minute that we're looking for. And this can be 40 gallons a minute. This could be 240 gallons a minute. The main thing is, is our set point today on this demonstration is 80. So now I'm gonna turn on our Sunray DC solar pump because the sun just came out. Now it's uh, eight o'clock in the morning, sun's out, and this turns on as soon as it sees the ambient light. So it starts pumping it's variable speed by the sun. So this does about 130 gallons a minute. So let me go ahead and hit the disconnect and turn it on and we'll start pumping it. So what will happen is it's gonna turn off the AC pump because it doesn't need to run because the sun's out and the solar pump is doing the job of hitting our set point at 80 gallons a minute. Okay, I just turned on our Sunray solar power pull pump. That's running now. So it's gonna offset the gallons per minute needed. We're at 145, 139. So right now, you'll see the AC pump is turning off. All right. Now, the AC pump is stopped because our solar pump does 127 gallons a minute. So now we're running off the sun, the solar pump is handling the flow rate needed. So let me put some back pressure on it. Say I put some good back pressure on it and now we're running at 12 PSI. At 12 PSI, we're at 109 gallons a minute, 110. The AC pump hasn't turned on yet because we're not at that 80 gallons per minute. So let me put a little bit more back pressure on it. Now I got some more back pressure on. Now we're at 22 PSI, 75 gallons a minute. Now the AC pump is turning on. There you go. So now it's gonna run until it gets that extra five gallons a minute going. So that's what that'll do. As you can see, it's starting to climb. It's gonna hit that 80 gallons a minute. So the AC pump is turning on to offset that five gallons because the solar pump has a lot of pressure on it or it's starting to become evening and the, solar, the AC pump needs to turn on to hit that set point of 80 gallons a minute, which is what it's doing now. See, it hit 80 gallons. The AC pump's gonna work hand in hand, which is what it's looking for. So I'm gonna open it all up. Solar pump's going all the way. We're at 100, almost 160 gallons a minute, but now it's gonna start going down because this AC pump is no longer needed to be running and costing you money on your utility bill because the DC solar pump has a, can cover the flow rate looking for for that water feature. And there it goes. Now we're gonna see the AC pump stop. Excellent. So that's how it works really quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the disconnect and turn off the DC solar pump and we'll see our AC turn on. So I just turned it off. Now the gallons, nothing's running. Now the AC pump is going, oh, I better get going here. Get that 80 gallons a minute back into play. That's exactly what it's gonna do. So now we're at uh, 30 gallons a minute and it's just gonna keep climbing from there to hit that 80 gallons per minute set point. So again, if you're a commercial pool owner or you have a, residential fountain that you need to keep running or a pond or a fish hatchery the sunray hybrid ac dc flow controlled pumping system is definitely the best system you should buy in the world hands down because the dc is getting its pure dc and the ac is getting its pure ac power this is the cleanest smartest way to do it it's going to last forever the solar panels last forever these dc pumps last a very long time the ac pumps last so this is the right system to Put your money behind because you're going to save 40 to 60 percent on your energy costs if you're running 24 7. now 
if you don't need to run 24 seven, this system for a nice residential is definitely a best way to go as well. You only have to run during the day, but if you're afraid that the solar pump's not really gonna achieve the flow rate that you're looking for for your particular pool, then this setup will definitely uh, put you in the uh, A class, no doubt about it. All right, let me turn off this AC pump. All right, I'm gonna turn off our controller. So now you'll see the AC pump is gonna turn off. So how would you plumb this in, you might ask? Okay, I've seen it work now, I believe you. So how would you plumb this in? So let me go ahead and show you. I kind of did a little quick setup for you. Now in the showroom here, you'll see that I have a cartridge filter and I have our DC and AC pull pumps. Now, you'll see how I have it plumbed in. You have two check valves on the returns of the pumps. So this is our AC pump. We have our drive controller and our disconnect for AC. And then we have our DC pump um, and we have our controller and a DC disconnect. And then of course, everything is controlled on the AC by the flow meter. And this is a digital flow meter right here that gets the gallons per minute. So this gallon per minute spins, so the water flows through the pipe, spins the gallons per minute turbine, gives the reading, sends it to the VFD for the AC pump, and it controls the AC pump to make sure that hits that 80 gallons a minute. Now in the solar, when the day starts at six o'clock or so, it starts pumping and sends water through. So it offsets the need for the AC pump on that particular day. So that's what the VFD does for the AC pump. It makes any AC pump a variable speed from single phase all the way to three phase AC motors. And our solar pumps just run on the sun is what they do. Typically every single day, it'll turn the AC pumps off because the DC pumps are very efficient. They have unbelievable flow rates to achieve a lot of water environments need. So you can always add a couple extra solar pumps and you can always add a couple extra AC pumps if you have uh, a lot of flow there that is required, like 200 gallons a minute. You can double up the solar, you can double up the AC, and you might have that in your water situation so you have that higher flow rate if you need 200 gallons a minute or so. The solar pumps are gonna pump however they do throughout that day. So it could be a very, very cloudy day, dark clouds, you might get you know, 40, 30% savings that day. Or it could be a super sunny day and you'll get 60% savings that day. So whatever you do here, with our Sunray hybrid ACDC flow controlled system is going to save you a tremendous amounts of money and do a lot, a lot of good uh, for you to be a sustainable pump owner. Um, so I got one more graph I can show you that might make help it make a little bit more sense just to grind the point in, I guess. Before I walk away, let me go through it one more time for you. DC AC pumps are all plumbed in parallel, common suction. We have the two check valves on the return, goes through the pipe, hits the digital flow meter. From the digital flow meter, goes to the AC VFD controller, and that controls the speed and the RPMs of the AC pump to what it needs to achieve that flow rate of 80 gallons a minute, let's say. Now the solar pumps are gonna pump whatever they can do every single day for you to save you money. So that's how this system's running. And let me go ahead and show you the last graph I have for you. Let me get there. Okay, I had this in the new product section at the Pool and Spa Expo. As you can see, we're natural current, solar powered water products. Save up to 60% on pumping 24 seven operation. We offer the best energy savings at any other pumping system. And no doubt do we do that. This is costing you money here. This is the power in watts that is on your utility bill and this purple is the flow rate. So here's your flow rate, 100 gallons a minute is pretty much what this graph is showing here. And then the blue is the solar pump and the power that comes out of it during the day. So at 6 a.m., the sun pumps out and it starts the solar pump and it starts pumping, achieving the gallons per minute here. And then the AC pump just turns off, no need for it, until it's about five, six o'clock at night, and then it starts to ramp back up. So the sun goes down, AC starts coming in. So these areas is where you're still paying for. So that's where we get your 60% savings, 40 to 60% savings, is this gap right here during the day. At nighttime, you should have better rates at night, so you can run your AC pump at night as you do now. But the savings here is what we're talking about. Getting you off the grid on daytime use of pumping your water is gonna make a big deal in these commercial pools. So if you have a 
commercial pool, you have a fish hatchery or a big giant pond or a water feature, then this is how you set it up. So right now you have your pumps, your filter, and a flow meter and your heater. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a couple DC pumps or just one, depending on your flow rate need. And we're going to have that flow meter and just kind of explain to you. But obviously now you'll have solar panels going to the DC pump, offsetting your flow rate with the VFD. All right. So installation, like you already saw, we have a couple DC pumps in this one and the AC pump or just one AC, one DC. All right. So hopefully this demonstration proved it to you that now's the time to save that 60%. And that's a big number. As you know, that utility bill to run that commercial pool, run that fish pond, or run that water feature is never going away. Now we could take at least a good portion of your runtime away by utilizing the sun. All righty, so let's get to it. Time to take action. So natural current, solar power water products, give us a call. Take action now. Here's the phone number, 855-372-8476. Naturalcurrent.com, solarpool.com, you got it. All righty, thank you so much. And hopefully this demonstration proved to you without a shadow of a doubt that your AC DC blended system is definitely the way to go, especially if you have a set point that you need to achieve of 80 gallons, 150 gallons, whatever gallons per minute you need to focus on, we can achieve that with the AC, DC working together hand in hand in a nice blended system. So if you have questions or you're interested, give us a call, naturalcurrent.com, solarpool.com, sunrayus.com. We're available, we chat online, you can call our toll free number. We're here to make you a sustainable pump owner and we've been doing it for 15 years, zero returns. We've won six awards at the international pool shows. So we can talk the talk and walk the walk. So remember, for the mind, body, and soul, let's get it off the grid. Thank you so much. <laughs>